What's up everybody? So I'm a big Chromebook user and I recently became re-interested in emulators, more specifically for the Super Nintendo. So looking on YouTube, I noticed that a lot of the emulators were focused on ones that were from the Chrome Web Store. And unfortunately, when I tried those, those didn't work out too well. There's a lot of glitches, some of them force shut down, they run too slow. So the next place to look for an emulator would be the Google Play Store. I found a setup that works really good. Let me show you. So this is my Acer Chromebook uh, C910. The manufacturing date on this bad boy is from 2015. And yes, it does have the Google Play Store. For the gamepad, I'm using the Logitech Gamepad F310. This reminds me of a mix between an Xbox and a PlayStation controller. So let's go to the Play Store and let's see which emulators are available for the SNES. Here we have the top options. So the first one on the list here had really good reviews and a lot of people said really good things and I tried it. Unfortunately, it kept crashing on me, so about every 15 minutes it would shut down. And this one, which has a 3.4 uh, rating, this one is the one that's solid, it is a good performer. The only downside is that you do have to pay a dollar if you want to have uh, like the save feature so you can continue um, where you left off. So let's go ahead and open up the Super Retro 16 SNES emulator. When you first use this emulator, it has the buttons in translucent. So you have your buttons down here, your directional pad up here. To remove that, you just go into your settings. And then there's an option over here that says touch controls. And you can uh, enable them or you can disable them. One of the really awesome features of this emulator is that you can scan for games off your hard drive automatically. Would you like to scan? Okay. And of course, you know, these are the ones that I have. So let's go ahead and just open up a Super Mario World. So here we have our controller, just connected, it's USB. It won't signal that it's connected, but if you see, I can already control it. So I'll show you guys, you know, just in case you think that, you know, okay, I'm not good at this, but I want to show you guys, it works. This is awesome. So I have now played over an hour and a half into this game using this emulator and it has not shut down on me. Try it out, see if it works for you. Let's get these bad dudes. Oh man, I'm getting bombed on already. Life, baby. Ooh. 